Hi YouTube, I'm Taylor. Welcome to Ginger Next Door. Today's video is going to be a chit chatty get ready with me uh, type tutorial for the look that is on my face at this very moment. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen this look on my face 900 times. I just decided to finally sit down and film a video. So since I filmed this as more of a chit chatty get ready with me video, uh, it took me like twice as long to do this look as it normally does. Another thing I really like about this look is that it's not a ton of steps. It's literally just one color in your crease, one color on your lid, a little bit of liner, done. Uh, but it's probably gonna be a little bit of a long video because I tend to get a little chatty. Clearly the theme of it is rose gold, blush, mauve, which is my favorite color. That exact thing. Rose gold, blush, mauve. I'm gonna go ahead and let No Makeup Taylor take over so we can get this thing done. Okay, first things first, I have to do that annoying thing that all girls do and say, sorry about my freaking zits. Uh, this beautifully clean Utah Air is really working wonders for me. It's fine. Oh, we have makeup. Moving on. We'll check these out. Wait, that's backwards. They're pearls. Like a fancy lady. Okay, first things first, I'm going to prime my face with this Cover FX uh, Blurring Primer. So I kind of go back and forth between this primer and the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. That has such a long name. The purpley one. Um, the Becca one is very hydrating and very like illuminating underneath matte um, foundations. Today I'm trying out a new foundation that is more of a dewy, like, natural finish. So I didn't want to do a dewy primer and a dewy foundation because then it will just all slide right off my face. So this will give me a little bit more stick for that, like, really dewy foundation. This is the most boring story in the world. We're just going to move on. <laughs> you get what I'm saying. I'm also going to prime my under eyes with this hard candy primer. Um, this is the Sheer Envy Instant Fix Under Eye Treatment. Uh, I like to have a little bit of extra primer under my eyeballs where I tend to have little fine lines show up. Plus, this has this little metal, like, applicator, and it feels so cold and so nice for my puffy, puffy under eyes. Um, as much as I love the way that that applicator feels, it doesn't really do much for blending, so I usually just blend it with my fingers. This is probably something that you already know, but if you don't know it, you don't know it. Um, when you're blending things under your eyes, be careful not to, like, tug really hard at your eyeballs because it's such a sensitive area. If you use your ring fingers, that's your weakest finger, so it's the most gentle. Fun fact! And to help out those under eyes a little bit more, I'm going to use my, whoops, Pixi Brightening Concealer. This is in the shade Brightening Peach. Um, I love this as an under eye corrector. It really helps to correct any little dark circles you have under there, which I always do, especially if you're very, very pale like me. Any little darkness that is under there shows through my white, white, paper-thin skin so badly <laughs> that I always look like I'm crying or sleep-deprived. Do you see? Can you tell what a big difference there is? Because looking in the mirror and looking at my little viewfinder over here, this side looks so much more awake and less like a zombie. Um, this is the only thing that I think I've ever really tried from Pixi. Do you guys have products that you like from the Pixi brand? Uh, they sell it at Target, so I walk past it uh, all the time, four times a week when I go to Target. Um, but I feel like I haven't ever tried any of their other stuff because it's a little pricey for the drugstore. Today I'm going to be using this Flower uh, Light Infusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel All Day Wear Broad Spectrum SPF 18 Sunscreen Porcelain 13. There's a lot of words on here. The Light Infusion? Illusion? The Light Illusion from Flower Beauty. Um, I love Flower Beauty. Everything I've tried from them has been great. This is Drew Barrymore's brand, so that might be swaying my opinion. I've heard a lot of good things about this foundation, so I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little of this on the back of my hand. Flower Beauty uh, blending sponges, because my old sponge disappeared. I have no idea where it went. I bought that L'Oreal one and loved it, and then it was gone. And then I was at Walmart, so I picked up one of these. I think this is the softest, like most squishy foundation sponge I've ever used. I really love it, except it looks really dirty really quickly. I think I've only used this twice and it looks like garbage, but that's okay because I don't care. I'm gonna tap this on my face. Mm -mm -mm. I have worn this foundation a couple of times, but only for like a few hours at a time, so I don't really know how well it wears. I do like the finish of it a lot though. Um, it gives you that kind of healthy glow and that like dewy look that's so popular right now. Especially with how dry it's been, um, I feel like this 
sits really nicely on the skin on those extra dry days. Seriously, this sponge feels like a marshmallow. I love it. Oh, while we're here, I have a question. Do you prefer these kind of like talk through, like get ready with me makeup type to, what? These talk through, get ready with me type makeup videos or do you prefer just watching and then having a voiceover? Um, doing it the voiceover way makes the videos a lot um, shorter because I'm not talking and talking and talking forever. Uh, let me know because I'd really love people's opinions on that. Whenever you use a damp beauty sponge to do your foundation, it is going to sheer it out a little bit, uh, which is what I like. I don't like a super, super full coverage. If you were to use this with a brush um, and maybe do a couple of layers, I feel like you would be able to get this to a really nice full coverage. Next things next, I'm going to use this Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer uh, to give my under eyes even more further coverage um, and then also to help conceal those little problem area issues. Wow, there are a lot of those today. I also really love this one because it has this little flat edge. It's nice. You have a lot of options of how to use this. I'm also taking that up over my eyelid uh, to kind of work as a primer. I've been doing that a lot more recently. Um, I used to always, always use an eyelid primer. Now I've just kind of been using my uh, concealer to do that, and it seems to be working wonderfully. Saves a step. Since I am going for more of a dewy, like illuminated finish on my foundation, I'm not going to set my entire face, but I am going to set my under eyes because uh, I tend to crease in there in my little fine lines that I can't freaking stand. Using the Cover FX Translucent Setting Powder under my under eyes, um, I'm using this on my beauty sponge and just pressing that into the skin. If you have never used your damp beauty sponge, sponge, you know what I mean, to do your uh, powder, I would highly recommend doing it. I feel like it gives you a very good finish. Um, it picks up a lot of product. It, it kind of just helps everything to like mesh together and your under eyes look really smooth and amaze balls. Okay, now that our complexion is taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and go into my bronzer. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Mine is in the shade 6676 Bronzer. Um, I've been really loving this uh, BH Cosmetics brush lately. It's just one of their big fluffy brushes. I got this in a brush set, um, but it's just kind of a rounded out fluffy brush. Just going to take that on the cheeks. And then I'm also going to take this around the perimeter of my forehead. And lately I've also been taking my bronzer uh, down the sides of my nose uh, to give like a tiny bit of contouring. I don't do super heavy contour um, ever, uh, but I like to give a little bit more warmth to my nose. Sometimes if my whole perimeter of my face is really bronze. I feel like my nose is just like this bright white beacon shining through the night. Um, so I like to give a little, a little warmth. Okay, next I'm going to take this uh, Wet n Wild blush. This is in the color Rose Champagne. Rosé. There's an apostrophe over the Rosé Champagne. Very fancy. I'm just going to take this on a fan brush and dust this on my cheeks. I've been really loving to do like a lot of blush lately and I love this one because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it so it highlights even more which is with the theme of dewy highlighted faces right now so I know it sounds kind of weird to do a your blush with a fan brush but I saw someone do this in a video one time and uh, I tried it and I actually really love the way it applies your blush it diffuses it really nicely so you don't have a really intense pop of color on your cheeks, which is fine if that's what you're going for. But I like to blend mine in a little bit more with my uh, bronzer. Next, of course, highlighter. This is um, Champagne Pop from Becca. And I'm taking this on another BH Cosmetics brush. This is just like a tapered highlighting brush. Uh, I'm gonna take that on my cheeks. I've also really been loving taking my highlighter from my cheekbone all the way up around the orbital bone, just slightly onto my forehead. Um, I really love the way that the light hits when it's in that whole like C-shape area. Uh, I put the main focus right on the tops of my cheekbones and then just kind of blend out the extra up there. I really, I think that just gives like a really fresh glow. I love this highlighter. And a little top of the lip, Cupid's bow action. I just want my highlighter to be able to be seen from space, is that so much to ask? 
Next I'm going to do the eyebrows. I'm going to whip through these pretty quick. I'm thinking about doing a video that's just dedicated to how I do my eyebrows. Kind of a back to basics eyebrow tutorial. If that's something you want to see, please let me know. This is the Busy Gal Brows from Tarte. Uh, this basically is just a brow mascara. You definitely don't have to do this step. Um, you can just go straight in with your pencil. Look at that. Now I have, I can actually see where my eyebrow hairs are. It's very transcendent. Next I'm going to finish filling in my eyebrows um, with the Precise on My Brow from Benefit. Um, if you're curious, I use the shade number three. Okay, now that the eyebrows are done, I'm going to move on to the eyelids. I'm just going to take this butter bronzer again on a big fluffy brush. Let's see, uh, this one is the Morphe um, M330. And I'm just going to brush this through my crease and blend it out. I'm focusing this mainly in the crease, but I'm also blowing that out like mm, almost all the way to my eyebrow. I'm just working that back and forth and in circular motions. Uh, just blend forever. Be patient. We don't want any super harsh lines. Next I'm going to take this little tiny blending fluffy brush. Um, this is a Morphe 507 and I'm going to take that same, um, the bronzer. I'm going to take this right on my lower lash line and just, again, just blending that out. The next thing I'm going to do is take this L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadow. This is in the shade Amber Rush. Um, I'm going to take the Too Faced Glitter Glue to prime my eyelid for that glitter. And I'm going to focus that mainly on the center of my lid and then blend it out just a little bit from there. Once that's nice and sticky tacky. I'm going to just take this on my finger and press it onto my lid. Generally I prefer the NYX glitter primer, um, but I couldn't find mine. There are a ton of really good pigment or glitter primers from the drugstore. I just happened to have that one sitting here. So I'm just pressing that into the lid and onto the, from inner corner to outer corner and then blending it just slightly into the crease. Again, uh, I've said it 500 times, I'm gonna say it 700 more times. Uh, no harsh lines. All right, now that those lids are nice and shiny, I'm going to take this MAC um, shadow in the shade Shroom to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. And I'm using a Morphe M169 brush to do that. Okay, and then to accentuate my lash line, I'm just going to take the tiniest little bit of liner. This is the, um, the Bare Minerals One Fine Line Micro Eyeliner in, uh, this is just the black one. Oh, Exact Onyx. With that, I'm also going to take this really flat, straight across little brush. I don't know what to call this. Um, this is the Morphe G28 brush. Put this along my lash line. It doesn't need to be perfect because we are going to blend it out a little bit. So just messily shove it on there. Um, and then I'm going to take this little brush just to blend it out a little bit. I don't have any product on here. I'm just going to kind of smoke out that liner. I really like the way that this looks against the lash line. It just accentuates it a little bit without being a full-on eyeliner. And it mostly blends in with your mascara, but it just gives your eyes a little bit of a pop. Can you tell the difference between each of them, or am I crazy? I don't care if I'm crazy, I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> I'm going to use the setting spray before I do my mascara. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Um, I'm going to drench my face with this. <laughs> I love the All Nighter because it dries quickly, which is really nice. You're not sitting there forever trying not to make lines with your face. <laughs> really quickly, going to curl my eyelashes. I'm also going to tight line my eyes with that um, Bare Minerals liner. So just right under those top lashes. Lining the tight line is something that I really like to do. It takes a minute to get used to doing it, but once you're used to it and comfortable with sticking something in your eye, <laughs> I actually really love the way that it looks. Again, it just gives you like a little accentuation there. I feel like it makes a really big difference. If you've never done it, I would recommend trying it carefully, but it's one of my favorite things. And then for mascara, of course, I'm going to take the Maybelline Lash Sensational. How cute, it matches the theme of today's video with the Rose Goldie Mauve kind of packaging. Okay, last thing I'm gonna finish off this look with some lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Color Rich in number 975 Lilac Impulse. I love this color, it is so perfect and it matches the theme so well. Okay. This also just smells so good. It smells like lipstick smelled when I was a little kid. Ugh. 
brush was clear over there and I had to move and I hate moving. I'm also going to add a gloss to this. I don't usually love a lip gloss, but I'm obsessed with this freaking clear lip gloss from MAC. This is the MAC lip glass lip gloss. Another thing I really like about this is that it's a squeeze tube. A lot of time when you have a clear gloss, if you try to put it over top of a lipstick, then you put the lip gloss wand back in it, then your gloss is stained pink and it kind of defeats the whole purpose. So I just take a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then use a lip brush to put this onto my lips. This gloss is the best because it's not super sticky. It's just like the smoothest, butteriest. I just love it. All right, that is it for this rose gold mauve head to toe look. Uh, last week when I did this, my nails were also mauve. I'm kind of sad that they're not anymore. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little monochromatic everyday glam kind of look. Uh, if you did, you know the drill. Like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. I'm going to go shop for some overpriced candles. Goodbye!